Hi all, in this video we'll see how we can read content from PDF from Blue Prism. So basically there will be three steps. First we will, uh, we will create a new object and we'll configure the application modeler to open the PDF and then we will spy certain element in the PDF and then we will run our code to activate the PDF and then we'll pass commands to read the content. I will just show you how we can do it manually before we start to code. So if we are we want to read this PDF, first thing is we need to open this PDF. Uh, if you want to maximize you can do and then we will click center and then we will pass control A and then control C. So the text is copied to the clipboard and you can copy it wherever you like. Also there is another option in PDF if you want to use then you can. If you go here in file and if you save it as text then a window will open so you have to just pass the file name wherever you want to save the content and then your PDF file will be saved as text file. Okay, so we'll create a new object. We'll configure the application modeler. You can give any na application name as uh, any name here. Then here you select Windows application. Then this option, my application launch from executable file. Then you have to give the path of your uh, PDF wherever you have installed it. So I'm already having this path. I'll just copy and paste. Okay, before this you need to ensure that Acrobat Reader is installed in your system. Just click on next. Okay, so uh, your application modeler is ready now. Uh, if you want to launch PDF, you can just click on launch. PDF will be open from here. And uh, as a sample, you can open any PDF which you have opened in the past and then you can just, if you want to configure the window element, you can just spy this in Win32 mode. So your Win element attribute will come and I will select certain elements and this window text I will give as dynamic because I want to open different kinds of PDF. I will apply, I will save the changes by click on apply and click OK. So first thing I would like to do is to configure a action stage to kill any PDF which is already open. Use utility environment kill process in the process name give acro rd32 that, uh, that is meant for acro Reader. Next step would be to launch the application to launch the application you need to pass the command line parameter so here i will path name that is the file path i haven't created the variable yet so this is my 
file path and uh, I will copy the path from here and put it here So you can see if you run the launch step then it will open the PDF along with that particular file path. One important point is that after launch your application that is PDF is already attached to Blue. Here I was able to spy this window element but sometimes you may face the issue or maybe due with some particular system or some blue prism version you may face issue so what you can do is uh, you can just use detach and attach I will show what I mean to say I will pass certain values here to particular inputs child index I am passing 0 and process name I will pass echo rd32 and in window title I will pass or I will use a variable that is title I will show what value I will store in the window title or the title variable. So if you open a PDF you can see that in the title you get a long name along with Adobe Acrobat Reader DC. So I will just use this particular text as a wildcard that is Adobe Acrobat Reader DC. Okay. So your application is launched but our purpose is different we want to detach and attach the application okay so why we are using detach and attach is only for one specific reason that is if in case you are not able to spy this element then you can after your launch you can just detach and attach the application and then you can spy it will definitely get now an important uh, stage is the wait stage also after the launch I'll activate the application. Now I will pass the commands. This command, uh, in this I want to first click on center. And then I want to use global send keys. 
first will be your control A then we will pass control C to copy and I have passed or I have given a pause of 0 0.5 seconds after each step then we will use get clipboard stage to copy the content utility environment get clipboard output will be stored in some variable we need to activate our application we need to use the title and it should be wildcard also we need to use the same title wherever we are using that particular element which is PDF window Okay, so our data is copied and uh, you can see your output text variable has all the content of this PDF, whatever it was in the text format, so it is there.